or Putting Fish Cakes here, and in today's video I'll be showing you all how to make these cupcake close pins which you can use to customize your vision boards or picture displays. I've been so obsessed with looking at inspiration boards on Tumblr lately, and I wanted to add an extra pop of fun onto my plain close pins. These are super tiny and I think gives your display that extra touch without being too in your face. I'll also be giving these away to one of you guys, so be sure to watch till the end of this video to find out how to enter. So without further ado, let's get started. For this project, you will need polymer clay in any colors you wish, a craft knife, dotting tool, needle tool or toothpick, white acrylic paint, glaze, I'm using Verithane polyurethane which I'll link below, a strong adhesive like E6000, clothespins, twine, and of course, printouts of photos for your picture display. Try to choose photos that make you happy and put you in an uplifting mood. Maybe something that reminds you of a fond memory or just images that bring you good vibes. I actually got some of these photos from a site called Graphic Stock that provides unlimited downloads of 100% royalty-free stock images, which means that you can use these on any of your projects and not have to worry about copyright issues. This is awesome if you're looking to post your craft or DIY content online. I'll put more details in the description box below and also a link to an exclusive 7-day free trial to Graphic Stock, so make sure to check that out if you're interested. Start by making the cupcake base. Flatten some clay with your fingers and cut out a trapezoid shape with a craft knife. Smooth out the sides and use a needle or toothpick to make the cupcake's indentations. Next, flatten some white clay and slice off one side. Attach this to the base and cut out a triangular shape around it. Then, use a dotting tool to shape out the frosting. I started with diagonal marks and worked from there. Repeat these steps for each of your cupcakes. Experiment with sprinkles and different colors. Once you're happy with your cupcakes, place them on parchment paper and bake using the instructions on your clay package. I'm baking mine at 270 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes. After your cupcakes are out of the oven and have completely cooled down, paint on some extra details and patterns. Dip a toothpick or dotting tool into some acrylic paint and dot away. You can add on stripes and highlights on the frosting too. After the paint has dried completely, we can glue these onto our clothespins. Finally, add on a coat of glaze for a glossy shine. This step is optional, but I really like the shine it gives and I think it even makes the colors more vibrant. Let that dry and you're finished! that tutorial be sure to tag me on instagram at putting fish cakes if you end up making your own so i can see them in my last video i did a giveaway on this rubik's cube which you can watch right here i really enjoyed reading all your comments about what you guys are looking forward to this summer but i can only choose one winner so without further ado the winner to that giveaway is Congratulations! Please email me with your shipping address and we can go from there. If you didn't win this time around, I'm giving away these cupcake clothes pins that we made today to one of you guys. All you have to do to enter is first, be subscribed to this channel, second, give this video a big thumbs up, and third, comment down below your favorite dessert. Good luck, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye!